in a thicket? There was a little bird. When we spotted it, he immediately picked it up and was surprised to find that it was actually a child with wings. Could this be the legendary bird person? Looking at the round little face, War found it incredibly adorable, but he believed the bird child must have a mother. So he climbed up a tall tree, yet found nothing. He brought the bird home. When his wife saw the bird, she was elated. Despite being married to War and Tyne for over 10 years, they hadn't been able to have a child. So Tyne decided to treat the bird as her own daughter. She promptly sewed a lovely little coat for the bird and named her Vigilj. Every day, Tyne would take Vigilj out to play and soak up the sun. Neighbors, seeing that they finally had a child, gathered to watch and even reached out to hold her. But Tyne quickly pushed the stroller away, fearing that the neighbors might discover the truth that she was a bird and take her for research. They spent five joyful months. Vigilj grew larger, and the small cradle couldn't contain her anymore. Vigilj started flapping her wings, eager to fly. Tyne was thrilled and took Vigilj to the backyard allowing her daughter to spread her wings freely. However, a concern troubled Tyne Vigilj only made bird-like noises and didn't speak human language. She enjoyed being around chickens, perhaps thinking she was one. To aid Vigilj's development, Tyne fed her well, providing milk and bread. Vigilj grew in size, yet still didn't speak. Despite Tyne's daily attempts to teach her, Vigilj continued to make bird sounds. One day, Vigilj spotted a big spider and promptly devoured it. Tyne realized that Vigilj liked eating insects. So she fetched a plate of earthworms from the ground. The mother brought a plate of earthworms. Without any utensils, the girl eagerly stuffed the wriggling worms into her mouth. The taste was truly delicious. Years went by like this. Tyne was still somewhat disappointed with Vigilj because, despite teaching her to speak and use utensils for years, she still had learned it. One day, Tyne took Vigilj out to eat again. Some sparrows flew by, and Vigilj immediately joined in, chirping non-stop alongside them. Starlet, Tyne hurriedly brought Vigilj to the restroom and locked the door. Fearing her calls might attract hunters, there had been many hunters around recently, targeting birds. Unexpectedly, Vigilj flew out of the restroom window and joined a flock of larger birds. They were headed south for the winter migration. Tyne shouted at the sky for a long time, but Vigilj didn't look back. After flying for over five hours, Vigilj couldn't keep up with the stronger birds and fell from the sky. Landing in a household, she happened to land on a little girl's bed in her bedroom. Exhausted, Vigilj immediately fell asleep. The little girl was overjoyed to see Vigilj, believing her to be a little angel fallen from the sky. Vigilj also liked the little girl, but she couldn't speak. She could only chirp at the little girl. The girl thought the winged child might be hungry, so she immediately shared her own eggs with her. However, the girl's father returned home, and she quickly hid Vigilj under the bed. Upon entering the messy room, the father couldn't help but scold, causing the girl to burst into tears. Usually under strict discipline, the girl unexpectedly ran away from home with Vigilj. Both the girl and Vigilj yearned for freedom. Vigilj flew up a tall tree and fell asleep there. The little girl climbed the tree too, and they played joyfully together. However, Tyne, since her daughter left, missed her terribly every day. Sometimes she even imitated her daughter by eating live spiders. Seeing his wife's condition, or knew that depression was imminent. As oh, he took Tyne to the city in the south to search for Vigilj's whereabouts. The couple searched all around the city, scouring every corner, but couldn't find their daughter. Eventually, they felt they should search in the forest. Finally, one day, they saw a little girl holding Vigilj's small shoe. They approached and learned it that Vigilj had flown away a few days ago. Vigilj was never truly human. She longed for the open sky to search for her mother alongside the big birds. However, those big birds didn't consider her one of their kind. They saw her as some sort of little monster. The hundreds of birds began to attack her. 